it's, it doesn't really mean that that much. Um, you know, towards the end of the season, you know, practice is always very, you know, pretty limited, um, and you kind of just focus on yourself. So that's something that we're doing. We're just focusing on ourselves, and we figure out who we play tonight and tomorrow. You know, kind of game, you know, fully game plan for that. You know, we looked at um, film from both teams and, and stuff like that, matchups and all that. So. Um, I think we'll be prepared either way, but you know, just a waiting game. How exciting is this time of year for you? You know, we've had to go through the rigors of the whole season. Now mm-hmm. We're here, it's playoffs. No, very, very exciting. Um, very exciting. Obviously, this is what you work towards um, the whole year to to get in this position. Um, you know, so it's just it's good vibes all around. It's, you know, good weather in the city, the sun shining. It's, you know, mid sixties now, so it's a uh, you know. Good time for New York. I think they're they're going to play very similar kind of styles. Obviously, both you know really good defensive teams, um, teams that are probably, that's really going to pack the paint, force us to make shots. Um, you know, and you know they both have like you know just two. Both teams have two great great team. You know, great superstars in terms of you know Jimmy Bam and Joella Maxey. So, um, you know, there's a lot of similarities between them. Um, I think both of them are better than what their seating is. So, you know, we know that going in. So, um, you know, as long as we focus on playing our game, you know, getting into the paint, getting open shots, you know, shooting shots with confidence, um, we'll be good. Did you miss Guy out? Or um, for sure. Um, you know, you know I, I've kind of made it known, um, you know, with people that are, like, in my circle or not, like, I have a very small circle, so you know if if you're not in it, you know, and, and, and you hit me, you're not getting a reply. You know, that's just really how I am. So, um, you know, Philly's always that's always home. You know, you know for me, and I know JB and Tay feel feel the same way. So, um, if it is Philly, you know that that would be you know that'd be a a fun matchup. Just obviously being there, some of my favorite food spots are in Philly, so um, it'd be cool. That's something that. Uh, I think both teams would would try to do uh, get the ball out of his hand, whether that's um, you know sagging off you know myself, OG, um, not sagging off Dante, um, um, and just kind of packing the paint or blitzing him and making you know the rest of us make decisions. So that's something that um, you know I love you know you know just going out there. Um, especially, you know, when he's get blitzed, you know, getting to the middle of the court and then kind of being that decision maker. Obviously, I got um, Vay, who's a good finisher at the rim. Dante, who's shooting 40%, and, you know, on one side, and OG, you know, shooting 40% on the other side, or Bojan, or whoever it is, Deuce. Um, so, um, something that I think we're comfortable with, something I think we have the personnel to, um, when they do that, we're playing five on four, uh, four and three, sorry. Um, so it's something that we're comfortable with, and I think the biggest thing, you know, when he doesn't get blitz and, and team sag off, we got to make sure, um, myself included, you know, that we we shoot those shots, shoot them with confidence, and knock them down. A lot, honestly, a, a lot of it's off me. Um, uh, you know, teams are playing off of me or um, sagging in, so putting me in that action, you know, making guys um, defend, um, and then when they put two, I think I'm a pretty good decision maker, you know, in that that short pocket area. Um, for me, it's kind of like, you know, I love getting out of transition. The court's open. I get to kind of just play my game um, carefree. It's very similar to, to that. When I get the ball in the short pocket, I have space. I'm able to make decisions. So um, it's something that I'm very comfortable with. When, you know, when, when guys sag off me, I can set the screen or you can do quick dribble handoffs where, you know, you have a naked, you know, naked handoff because someone's sagging off. So I think that's something that we're definitely going to look to do. And like I said, you know, especially in that, that starting unit, um, if we go to that, you have Zay flooding the baseline. And you got two guys shooting forty percent on on both corners or or wings. So um, something that we're very comfortable with. Something that JB wants to um, wants to get into, you know, more. And I think you know you're going to see that, um, um, you know, with whoever we play, and at, at the end, and then we just got to execute.